Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Abby and I'm the owner of a couple tumblers and today we're gonna to be doing a Northern Lights tumbler and we're gonna do it with mica powders. This has been trending all over TikTok and I wanted to try it so bad and I finally got the time to. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. But before we do that, I have a huge announcement. I have my own custom glitter. Like I worked with Fairy Tale Glitter and they made me this beautiful black glitter. It is absolutely stunning. It is kind of hard to tell in this shaker, but if you are looking for like a very true black that doesn't have all the other colors in it, this one is gonna be the one for you. It has like the tiniest hint of green just to make it sparkle and a little smidge of silver but it is just so pretty underneath epoxy it doesn't dull it doesn't look like tar like this is going to be my go-to black from now on so if you want to get your own black glitter it is called abby's geode at fairy tale glitter i'm going to link them down below in the description so you guys can check it out and you guys already know what to do before we get started give me a big thumbs up hit that subscribe button down below and let's get to it For today's tumbler, we are using a 20 ounce skinny straight from Maker Flow Crafts and I spray painted this black. So if you are going to be making a Northern Lights tumbler, make sure to paint your tumbler black beforehand. And here I just mix 5 milliliters of epoxy. I did 2.5 milliliters of part A and 2.5 milliliters of part B. Why is it so hard to say milliliters? Oh my goodness. But all I'm doing is putting this epoxy on in a very thin layer, kind of like how you would do it for any glitter tumblers. If you like to put the glitter with epoxy, if you do the epoxy method, this is basically what I'm doing. So you just want a very thin layer of epoxy on your tumbler. You do not want it to run. You don't want anything to be uneven. You just want to make sure that this bad boy is fully covered. Now that my epoxy is all on, I'm going to be setting up my mica powders. This one is Nori. The green one is called Aisha. I have a purple one and it is called Elderberry. And then the last one, which is a pink, is Coral. These are all micas from Fairy Tale Glitter. I love the way that these micas look. They are just super pigmented and as you can see, they like to fill up the jar quite a bit and I made a mess with my mica powder, but oh well. You clean it off and you keep going. After I open all my jars, I am going to take this silicone brush or applicator I also got these from Fairy Tale Glitter. Um, I do quickly realize that I cannot put mica powder on with this brush. It works so much better with an actual brush. So after I do this for a little bit, I am going to take a paintbrush that I don't really care for because you're going to be putting your mica powder and you're going to be touching the tumbler with it. So if you have a paintbrush, like your favorite paintbrush, I recommend do not use it unless if you know you're going to clean it afterwards. And I ended up tossing my paintbrush after this tumbler was done. But for the mica powders, all you want to do is just make some little swirls, make some lines, Use a little bit of pink, blue, green, purple. You can literally do whatever color that you want for your Northern Lights. If you find on Google that there is a Northern Lights that you got inspired by, go for those colors. Or if you want to use the same colors as I am, go for it. The Northern Lights doesn't have like a certain pattern that you need to follow. It just has a certain look and that is what we're going to be going for today. So I'm just going to keep doing this all around the tumbler. I'm going to mainly focus the mica powders towards the 
top third of the tumbler if you wish because we are going to be putting on a decal on the bottom half but I do want to make sure that the middle and the top are covered because that is where the northern lights will go. You're going to have a tree silhouette and it's going to cover up some of that pretty northern lights that you're going to be putting on. So I'm just going to keep doing this until I get the look that I want. Once I put on all of my mica powder in the places that I want it to be, I'm going to be taking this silicone applicator or brush. You can find it at the Dollar Tree in the makeup section or Amazon or a lot of the glitter places also sell it too. So all I'm going to do is swipe my applicator from the very bottom of the tumbler to the very top of the tumbler because if you look at a Northern Lights picture, you can actually see that the lights are kind of going into the sky. So you do not want to swipe to the bottom and that's just gonna make your tumbler look a little different, which is okay. If that's what you want, then that's what you can go for. But I just think it's really pretty if the lights start going up. And all I'm going to do is just keep doing this motion. I do periodically wipe away the excess epoxy onto a paper towel that has 91% alcohol on it to clean it up. So that way I am not, you know, blending too many of the colors in together. And after this is done, all I'm going to do is let it dry and then we will decal. This is what my tumbler looks like once it is all dried. I did find this tree silhouette off of Google. I know there's a bunch on Etsy or even Creative Fabrica. If you can't find one that you could clean up enough in design space or silhouette, I am just going to cut off the bottom of this to make sure that I can get this lined up on my tumbler. And then once I get this on here, or once I cut it off, I'm going to put the transfer tape and just apply my decal to the tumbler. I'm going to wrap my decal around to make sure that it is going to line up. And then I am going to make my hinge, you know me, I love to make my little hinges and apply this cute little decal onto the tumbler. If you feel like your tumbler has some rough spots on it, Go ahead and sand it just a smidge and put a layer of epoxy on before you decal your tumbler because if you have any bumps before you decal, you know you're going to see it when you epoxy it. So you'd rather be safe than sorry and just put on a very thin coat of epoxy and let that dry and then put your decal on. And that is basically it, you guys. All I'm going to be doing is taking my weeding tool and popping out any of the bubbles in the vinyl. All I do is poke a little hole and smear it out or push it down and make it blend in all together. And then I'm going to put two layers of epoxy on this and maybe a name if someone wants it. But for right now, she is up for grabs. 
And if you guys have any questions or have something that you guys want to see, make sure to leave a comment down below and hit that notification bell so that way you guys don't miss out on a video. And I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.